Hi everybody, I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Joining me now is my colleague, staff writer, Zach Everson. Zach, thanks so much for joining me. Hey Brittany. We've been talking a while about a Trump-linked SPAC, Digital World, and they're back in the news again. You're reporting they spent a pretty penny on legal fees. What's the number? Sure, it is $10.8 million. Uh, we've been talking about them uh, in part because they have come out a couple times and said, uh, you know those SEC filings we had out there? Uh, they can't be trusted. Um, so the big thing that happened this week was that they finally uh, went ahead and, and amended their, their filings. Uh, most notably, it was a um, annual report through the end of 2022. And they had disclosed earlier that their operating expenses were around $18 million, but they didn't really break it down. In the new version, they did break it down a little bit further and showed that $10.8 million of that was for legal fees regarding uh, different government investigations. That number is pretty high. So is your reporting is about 46% of Digital World's total expenses over the past two years. Is that normal for a company to spend that much money, almost half of their total expenses on legal fees? Uh, with the caveat that I haven't really looked into a lot of SPACs, um, the answer would be no. You know, I did talk to some other people and it is it is uncommonly high. Um, you know, when these SPACs start, they typically, the money is just spent on formation and organizational expenses. They don't really do anything until the merger goes through. Um, but in this case, Digital World Acquisition Corp was doing something and that was uh, trying to fend off legal investigations. Like you said, this comes amidst a time of regulatory probes. Can you walk us through the scrutiny that Digital World was facing? Sure. Um, there are some pretty strict rules about when um, when a SPAC forms. It's not supposed to originally know what company it plans to merge with. Um, in this case, that there was a, the SEC and the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority um, took a look into those issues, and it did appear that um, Digital World always intended to merge with uh, Trump Media Group, and uh, the SEC ended up fining uh, Digital World because of that, uh, that if the merger does go through, they're going to have to pay an $18 million penalty. There was also a former board member was being investigated for uh, suspicion of insider trading. The SEC has pressed charges against him and two others and that case is in uh, very preliminary stages. You hinted on this and we talked about it last week, but for those viewers who might not have read your story or watched the video, this also comes at a time when Digital World said its financial statements from 2021 and 2022 should no longer be relied upon. What does that mean? Well, they gave a little bit of an explanation um, as to what happened here in, their, in the amended filing. Um, for starters, a couple of um, documents that they, they filed thinking they were going to be for 2023. They should have been for 2022. So they went back and you had to redo some of that. had to reduce the filings because of those. They didn't explain. I did reach out and asked, you know, why didn't you break down the legal fees the first time? And what compelled you to do it the second time? I didn't hear back. There was nothing in the, um, in the amended filing that explained that at all either. And where are we when it comes to a Trump media and digital world merger? Are we in the beginning stages? Is it back to square one? What does this look like? Uh, we are uh, totally ensconced in a uh, who the hell knows part of the merger. Um, no clue what's going on here. It's been over two years. It should have typically these things happen a lot faster than that. Um, recently, a significant amount of the early investors uh, asked for their money to be refunded for, uh, and then uh, Digital World then refunded the rest of them. So it's starting out fresh there. And one interesting change, another that I found in the filing, very small, but they went, Digital World went from saying it was possible the deal would need to be restructured to it's likely the deal would need to be restructured. So um, I would expect some news coming forth some point um, in the not too distant future about what that entails. And again, I, I did reach out trying to get some details as to what led them to change that guidance and, and did not hear anything back. And what is the reasoning for this entire deal to not be working out? Because we, you and I have talked about this for a while and it seems like it has been, you know, kind of enveloped in a sort of, bad situation right now. So what what's happening? Why did this not work out from the beginning? Um, it's a freaking mess. You know, they, they it looks like they they're accused of breaking the law 
from the very beginning when they acknowledged that they um, in, you know, that they were looking at merging with Trump Media from the get go. Uh, they sacked their CEO at one point during this whole uh, plan. They've come under multiple investigations. Department of Justice is under there as well. And uh, you know, it's, investors have pulled all their money. So, I mean, at this point, they are really back at um, square one. It's actually maybe ne- beyond, maybe negative square or whatever you can go there because uh, said they're, they're already in the whole $18 million if the merger does go through because that's the fine that they would have to pay to the SEC. And is Trump involved in this deal at all? Um, don't know exactly what the extent of his involvement is. Uh, Devin Nunes, the former Republican CEO who's uh, probably best known for suing a fake cow uh, Twitter account, um, is the one running it. And when, when they put out press releases, it is his name there. But again, it is Trump Media and Technology Group. And my understanding is that he is the largest shareholder of that organization. So uh, he's involved in some way, but he's also you know quite busy with legal problems of his own these days. And you've been following this attempted merger for a while now. What has surprised you the most? I mean, honestly, that it hasn't happened. I mean, the, that that I don't think I ever really expected it to be clean and go through smoothly. It's the Trumps. Um, there are always some sort of hiccups here. Um, but the, but the fact that we're two years into it and and also the fact that they haven't nixed it all together, that they're still trying for this to go through rather than just saying like, OK, you know what? It's not working with digital world let's look for a SPAC that hasn't had all this baggage and try to find somebody else. And uh, and they haven't done that yet. I mean, they've repeatedly have to go that back to uh, shareholders and ask for more time to complete the merger, which shareholders have been have been willing to do. And can you just explain to us the benefits of this deal? Because right now, what I'm hearing for you from you, we're at square negative one and 18 million dollars in the hole. So what's the benefit here? I'm I'm at a loss. I mean, if it goes through, it obviously would would take you know this this Trump Media Group would would be taken in by a public company and should be able to enjoy the benefits of that. But um, right now, I'm I'm not sure exactly what the benefits are with them merging with uh, Digital World. And Zach, what are you looking out for next, or does that just remain to be seen? Um, you know, the next thing is is to see when they come back and explain you restructure the deal if that is in fact what they have to do but the fact that they um went from saying that it was possible to it's being likely i mean that that makes it sound like more than 50 percent chance that it's going to happen and especially since they have gotten rid of all the initial uh investments that they are going to have to redo something there so i am i am waiting on on news about that zach everson per usual thank you so much for the reporting and when you do hear news about that Come back on and join us. Thanks again. Of course. Thank you.